And what were you doing then at Penn State? What was your story then? What did you have to share with others? Um, I mean, I think there there are lots of archetypal stories that 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 my story fits and and, and therefore resonates with other people. But you know, there's a, if you're of a certain age, if you're a young person, really between eight or nine through teenage years, you often feel displaced. You often feel you often feel like you don't really belong. And, I, and as I said to you, I, I, I felt my entire school experience that I was a stranger in a strange land. And then here I am, an Englishman in America, and not in New York or anywhere cosmopolitan necessarily, but in the central Pennsylvania. Um, I'm as juxtaposed as you could be to that. And so the idea of being a stranger in a strange land really resonated with a lot of these people who I thought I had nothing in common with mm. initially on the surface of it. You know, these almost exclusively white kids with blonde hair and blue eyes and what are they called? Mullets driving trucks and, and taking time off school for hunting season. It's just like this is the antithesis of me as a person. And yet, authentically, we resonated because even for them, they would go into school and feel like they didn't fit. They look at the wider world and realize that the wider world looked at them in quite a pejorative way, the, even the wider America. And... And as such, uh, we could tell each other stories that really made sense. 